both teams now making their way out onto the pitch here in very, very good condition. Of course, not a lot of football being played here for the last couple of years due to cut well, last couple of seasons rather due to COVID. Everyone looking smart, this is it. As I go, look at the birdie, say cheese, and don't forget to smile. And this is when someone realises they've suddenly brought a point out with them. They have to hide it. Yeah, we spot it. Or is it a point? Is that the chairman? Well, Jay Heater, what, what can I say? I mean, you know, chairman leading by example. This is where you literally pose with an arm behind your back. Why is that? You can't see the point, can you? This is what we love about football. The Cascadia half. Okay, now we'll look to take this in once again. Jennings is adopting a very wide position on this near side. And... Uh, and just now, just trying to drag the drag it. Cascadia's left back out of position, and Taylor Fisher's got a very marking job to do here. The youngsters, the ball comes in high, cleared. That's the far side. A watchful going there, of course, from Hayden Turner. And I'm happy to say that they were Hayden Turner and Cam Turner for Kerno, both sponsored by Bay Lodge uh, Holiday Apartments. And there's quite a lot of it. support and interest. The ball in, past the keeper, squeezed in there. Oh my word, disaster for James Mayo. And Kerno have taken the lead with barely four minutes gone. Kerno won Cascadia nil. And a shot from range that uh, looked, it looked like it wasn't going to trouble uh, James Mayo at all, but squeaked in at the far post. Yeah, in touch with us on uh, the Lottie's mic. And there's uh, Cornwall, Berno coming in. And squeezing another one in. And again, James Mayer beat it in on his far post for the second time. Kerno double their lead. Jennings at the races there. Again, Tinsley and Page reported delivering a low ball into the Cascadia penalty area. It's not fully cleared and it's slotted in. Oh, that's calm as you like, and a cool finish there from Max Gilbert. Makes it Kerno 3, Cascadia 0. And that was uh, set up on the plate there. Good work from uh, Will Tinsley, the right back on this uh, near side to get up and deliver that low ball in. And Max Gilbert popping that one in. The sunshine is out here though. Cascadia feeling the pain with that scoreline, but uh, Kellen Fisher into the penalty area here. And goes down in the box, and it's been given. And this could be history in the making. Now, who's going to want to take this? Now, I'm pretty sure Gavin McCallum is going to want to take this. Stand by to remember where you were when this was taken as he nestles it into the back of the net. Is it not McCallum? We thought that was McCallum. It's not. Oh, Max Holden's taking it. I do beg your pardon there. Yeah. I think we're all getting excited, expecting Gavin McCallum to take it. And Max Holden has stolen Gavin McCallum's thunder. And so, half time here at Northwoods Fenton Engineering Stadium. Currently, Kerno leading by three goals to one. And an early blow suffered for Cascade. When uh, Talon Mitchell managed to squeeze his shot inside, it literally shaved uh, shaved the paintwork off the inside of James Mayo's at far post before Dan Jennings doubled the tally just after the quarter an hour mark. And then Max Gilbert was uh, set up very expertly there by uh, Will Tinsley for the third. However, Cascadia have reduced the arrears. When uh, Kellen, uh, Kellen, uh, Kellen Fisher was brought down in the box with Max Oldham converting with just inside 10 minutes to go. First touch and issue from Gilbert was on the heavy side, but he's absolutely right for that one. Robert, Robert. Past the keeper's left hand side. And Kerno stretched that lead to 4 1. Max Gilbert was second of the afternoon. And I'll tell you what, Cascadia 
have now seen that uh, deficit open back up to three goals. Tall range of left back. Cut in from the near side at touchline by Harry Clark. Cleared and Gilbert. Sensing the match, looking off in here, I think. That's Gilbert. He draws one in, and that is in. Squeeze it past the keeper at his near post. James at Mar, the cardinal sin being committed there, a keeper beating at his near post. But that is some shot though to squeeze that in. There wasn't that was a real tight angle, not a lot of space to squeeze that in. And Kernai lengthened and stretched their lead. It's a new word for you in Collins, we speak. Have now got themselves 5 1 up and looking like a nigh on unassailable lead here in Northwood. The afternoon, watch out for the spirit, for the heart. And I think we've come such a long way. And we need to add insult to injury. A cheeky little thing over the keeper. <laughs> to make it 6 1, and poor old James Mayo. It's absolutely distraught and crestfallen there. Hands on hips, uh, it's not a, not a teapot impression. That is, uh, that is the impression of the goalkeeper. He's not happy. He's going to have dominated today. The ball sorted out. Oh, the and that, that is seven for Kerno. You know what's coming next. That is simply magnificent from the side. Thank you, Maria, for your, uh, your comments as well. And this is what I say, we've, uh, we're working on this, we're working on, working on things. It's a working progress, we get there, but I hope you overall, I think everyone's enjoying the commentary today and enjoying the, the, the footage as well. We pass, uh, uh, shall we say, pass a, la a last minute fitness test this morning, but uh, I'm not sure if it's going to get used today. Oh, oh what a reflex save there! Sort of seaman esque save there from uh, James Mayo. The ball by riveted past him into the back of the net. And Curdo now make it 8 1 on this Saturday. And what a shame there for James Mayo. That was such a reflex stop there. And he said seaman esque, because that's the last time I saw someone pull a save out like that. But unfortunately, couldn't keep it clear. Rifled into the back of the net, and Curdo 8 1 up. Here's the full-time whistle here at Northwest Fenton Engineering Stadium. Indeed, Kerno 8, Cascadia 1. And Steve Clare, I think he's going to be talking to James Ward. He's going to be talking to James Ward. He's going to be talking to James Ward. I hope you've enjoyed the commentary. I hope you've enjoyed the footage as well. Massive thank you again to you getting involved, listening in, watching in, and all your messages. Absolutely fantastic stuff. That just leaves me to say, once again, from all of us here behind the scenes at the game and everyone here in Northwood, and for me, Chris Walker, your commentator, it's a very, very good afternoon from us and a good afternoon for me. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Indeed, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Until the next time we catch up, bye-bye from us, bye-bye from me. Bye-bye for now. Ta-da.